Time to start our public hearing for November the 27th, 2018. Roll call, please. Councilman Johnny Blunt. Here. Councilman Jason Hood. Here. Councilwoman <coughs> Janice Carter Beard. Here. Councilman Lamar Marshall. Councilman Mike Williams. Here. Public hearing number one, an ordinance to rename the following streets that are maintained and requested by Southeastern Louisiana University. One, Western Avenue to Ned McGee Drive from North General Persian to North Oak Street. And two, Texas Avenue to Union Avenue in its entirety. And three, Tennessee Avenue to Main Street from SGA Drive to North Oak Street. And four, Virginia Avenue to Romy Road from SGA Drive to North Oak Street and Tornado Drive to Lion Lane in its entirety, recommend approval by Planning Commission Tracy Lacey. Good afternoon, Council Mayor Lacey, Andre. Um, I hope you guys had a happy Thanksgiving. Yes, you did too. I you. did, I did. Um, this, is, this has come to us from um, Southeastern. They requested these street name changes. Um, these are all streets that they maintain. They're on their campus. One street, um, Western Avenue to Ned McGee Drive, was changed back in 2012. Um, they were unaware of the process, so we're kind of playing clean up with that one and changing the other ones um, in its entirety. And um, our planning commission recommended approval for these changes. If you have any questions, Mr. Ken with Southeastern is here, and um, Mr. Lamar asked for a bio of the Ned McGee change, and um, I've given you all copies of that. My name is Dr. Louise Bostick, 112 Elm Drive. I was a professor at Southeastern for a little over 25 years. Um, the, the first uh, change uh, back to Ned McGehee Drive, uh, the, Ned McGehee is, was a very important figure in Southeastern's history and this seems quite appropriate. The other four <coughs> changes are for naming after sports mascot. This seems rather uh, trivial and uh, superficial considering we have graduates such as Bill Evans, the uh, most prolific and world-renowned jazz musician still living and a graduate of Southeastern. We have some really incredible people that have been associated with Southeastern. And to name four streets after a Muffet figure seems rather trite and uh, just really out of uh, what should be done. We can honor these distinguished graduates, such as Bill Evans, uh, with a street name, if nothing else, but this would uh, not only promote Southeastern and show its integrity and, and uh, distinguished uh, quality of education. So I was rather surprised. Just want to make those comments and ask maybe that one, the one who uh, is here to represent Southeastern, whether or not they would like to reconsider a couple of these. One for the mascot might be, be fine, but four, thank you. Hey, my name is Ken Howe, Director of Facility Planning for Southeastern Louisiana University. Um, I can certainly understand uh, her thoughts about uh, naming the different streets. We have had many uh, very distinguished um, uh, alumni. Uh, so part of the issue with that is at some point, sometimes it's trying to pick between those. One of the main things that we're trying to do here is, as we were looking at our master plan update, as we were uh, looking at different literature of where we're trying to recruit students, we realized that it wasn't necessarily um, the best thing to tell students to come to Southeast and Louisiana University and turn on Texas Avenue, come in on Virginia Avenue. And so what we wanted to do is find things that were represented on the campus, uh, that promoted the campus, that uh, represented Southeastern. I uh, understand that uh, we have many distinguished uh, alumni uh, and faculty. 
Uh, but we just thought that this was something that showed the spirit of the school and was quickly uh, recognizable for the, um, for the school itself. I hope that answers any questions that you may have. Number two, an ordinance for annexation into the Hammond City Limit initial zoning to CH and to be placed in the City Council District number three request by Muscadine LLC <coughs> for lot 1A of the H.C. Collins subdivision being 2.760 acres located at 15829 DeMarco Lane in accordance with survey by WMJ Bowden Jr. dated December the 14th, 2010, recommended acceptance by Zoning Commission Tracy Shalacy. The current owners of the property, Muscadine LLC, has asked to table this for this meeting. Um, they're working on out some details with the purchase of this property <coughs> let me just let me just say this in terms of process since this is the public hearing you really don't you could remove it from the agenda but you really wouldn't table it so you'd either either remove it or have a public hearing on it and I think they would be okay with removing it as well so so the motion would be to remove it from the agenda <coughs> second Councilwoman Janice Carter Beard, Aye. Councilman Johnny Blunt, Aye. Councilman Jason Hood, Aye. Councilman Mike Williams. Aye. <coughs> okay, we'll move right into our regular meeting. Roll call, please. Councilman Johnny Blunt. Aye. Council Councilman Jason Hood. Here. Councilwoman Janice Carter Beard. Here. Councilman Lamar Marshall. Councilman Mike Williams. Here. Janice, what you mean with them Heavenly Father, once again, we gather here together to do the business of the city of Hammond. We pray, oh Heavenly Father, that we are just, that we are, uh, that, that we are attentive to the needs of each and every citizen, and that we do all that we can to uh, uh, improve the lives of each and every citizen of this great city. We pray, oh Heavenly Father, that we do all that is right and in order, and that is pleasant in thine sight. And we thank you for all that you're doing in blessing us in all things, O oh Heavenly Father. In these and all things, we ask in your name of your precious Son, Jesus. To God be the glory. Amen. 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 Mike, we shall invite all um, veterans and military personnel to render proper salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Not uh, as many of you may have seen, the Kate Square um, playground is being renovated. Uh, that should be, depending on whether we need a, we have the foundation done and the new swing set in, uh, that should be resurfaced with some rubberized uh, surfacing if we need the right temperature to do that. Um, we had, if you notice, the mulch. A lot of times with the mulch, you get ants and kids get bitten, so that's a, a long way to renovation, uh, phase one actually. Uh, pool pre-bid meeting was uh, yesterday morning. Uh, the bids will be open December 6th in the council chambers. And uh, also the Christmas parade will be Saturday. Uh, it will start rolling at 5.30, so come on out and enjoy the <coughs> Christmas parade today. Thank you. Okay, we got the audit report. Good afternoon, members of the council, Mayor Lacey. I'm Ernie Jelpe with the CPA firm of Kirshen LaGrays, and I'm here to present the uh, audited financial statements for the city of Hammond for the year ended uh, December, I mean June 30th, 2018. Uh, the statements are due to the legislative auditor December 31st, and uh, we plan on submitting them based on your approval tonight, uh, this week, so it'll be way before the uh, deadline. If I May, I'd like to just take a brief uh, minute to point out some of the items in the financial statements. Uh, we will be issuing a clean opinion. That's not in your draft, but when we issue the final, we'll be issuing a clean audit opinion, uh, which means that the financial statements are presented fairly in all material respects. It's the best opinion you can receive. 
On pages 4 through 14 is the management discussion and analysis, sometimes called the MDNA. And I would suggest that uh, you read that first before you review the financial statements. It gives you a nice summary of the year, as well as a comparison of, of this year to last year. Um, on page 11, there's a comparison of the government-wide financial statements, which is all the funds of the city on a full accrual basis. And you'll see for the year ended June 30th, 2018, that revenues exceeded expenditures, resulting in an increase in your net position. Uh, also on page 13, there's a detailed comparison of revenues between 2018 and 17. As you would see there, there was a decrease of approximately 2 million as a result of a decrease in capital uh, grants, but that was offset by some operating grants. Uh, the major revenue source of the city is sales tax, and the sales tax did decline, had a small decrease of $267,779, or 1.28%. So your sales tax was relatively flat. On the top of page 7, you'll find a discussion of the general fund. The general fund is the cheap operating fund of the city, and the fund balance in the general fund decreased 265000 $656, leaving an ending fund balance of $1,516,157. That represents about a 6% uh, of the general fund expenditures, so I would just recommend or encourage you to try to increase the general fund fund balance over the next couple of years. Uh, in addition to our audited financial statement opinion, we also did an opinion uh, related to your federal grants and we had no compliance findings there. And we also issued our governmental uh, report on internal control and compliance, and we had no findings there as well. The last uh, procedure we had to perform was the agreed upon procedures required by the legislative auditor. And also in doing those uh, procedures, we had no findings there as well. So in summary, the uh, city has a clean opinion on the financial statements, no findings with compliance or internal control, and no findings related to the uh, uniform, uh, re related to the agreed upon procedures. So I'd like to thank the mayor, Lacey, Seda, uh, for their cooperation as we went through the, the audit procedures. I'd like to thank the council for the uh, opportunity to uh, provide the audited services to the city. And I will be happy to answer any questions if you have any at this time. Okay, thank you very much. Are there any new business like to be recognized? If not, approve of minutes. So moved. Second. Councilman Johnny Blunt. Aye. Councilwoman Janice Carter Beard. Aye. Councilman Jason Hood. Aye. Councilman Mike Williams. Aye. <coughs> Resolutions A, O, business none, B, Number one, a resolution to approve Iron Horse Sports Grill and Spirits located at 123 South Cate Avenue, Hammond, Louisiana, to obtain a permit to sell high-low alcohol on premise for a 2018 and 2019 year. The owner is CJK Ventures, LLC, Jenny Wilson. Good afternoon. Um, this is just basically a change of ownership of an existing business that we already have out there. They've <laughs> met all of the uh, requirements that we've asked them to meet. Uh, all the inspections are done and we're good to go. Uh, we have an owner, uh, the new owner here. Um, if y'all have any questions, I'm going to ask him to come up, okay? Good evening, Council. I'm Chance Kenshin, CJK Ventures. Uh, 123 South Kate Street. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good luck in mm -hmm. the police. You do know uh, at City of Hamilton here, we have a random check for selling the mounds. Yes, sir. I'm so, aware. So, uh, you need to be aware of that. Yes, sir. All right. Good luck. All right. Thank you. Good motion. Make a motion to approve. Second. Second. 
Go. <laughs> Councilman Jason Hood. Aye. Councilwoman Janice Corden Beard. Aye. Councilman Johnny Blunt. Aye. Councilman Mike Williams. Aye. Motion approved. Number two, a, re a resolution to approve barbecue station number two, located at 1000 North O Street, building B3, Hammond, Louisiana, to obtain a permit to sell high low alcohol on premise for 2018 and 2019 year. The owner is Jimmy Gregory Properties and Investments, LLC. Jenny Wilson. This is um, going to be a new restaurant in town. It's located over by the college um, in that George Baxter complex over where Crazy Pig used to be. Um, it's going to be on the corner there. And he has also met all of the qualifications that we've asked him to meet. And I uh, have him here this afternoon, and he's going to come up now if you have any questions for him. Hello, everyone. How you doing, Council? Uh, my name's Jimmy Gregory. I'm also an alderman in the town of Independence, so don't get to make it over to your meetings too often. I'm <laughs> kind of busy taking care of my own business in Independence. So I've uh, been in business for 10 years. It's going to be our second location. Um, I'm happy to be back in Hammond. Um, you know, I went to, I was alumni of Hammond uh, Southeastern, and I'm graduating culinary school in Baton Rouge. But I'm definitely happy to help kind of revitalize that area. Um, you know, when I was in college here, that area was it had a lot going on to it. You know, there's a lot going on there, and see everyone's kind of migrated into downtown, now, which is not a bad thing, but uh, you now the air is kind of, you know, gone a little downhill over there. So we got a few new businesses popping up over there. So, um, you know, I think me and a few others that's coming there, I think it'll definitely help about revitalize that area and kind of encourage other people to maybe open up a shop or open up a business on that corner in that area over there. So. When, uh, we we're shooting for um, Wednesday. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 Wednesday. Yeah, I say, I say, no. It's it's Wednesday's our date. Um, we're hoping this that this coming Saturday, um, we're gonna do like a little soft roll, friends and family. Want to invite them out to come, and uh, we'll have a little barbecue out there. You know, watch the parade because I believe the new route takes it right past uh, where we're gonna be in the curb right there. So uh, we're gonna have a little open house and uh, not really sell anything. We're definitely gonna have some barbecue to serve and just kind of hang out, watch the parade, and. Uh, you know, welcome, welcome anybody who wants to stop by to come on by. Okay, can you give her your address? Yes, ma'am. Uh, 1000 North Oak, Suite B3, Hammond, Louisiana. Okay, well, good luck. All right, thank you. Uh, Jimmy, you know about the laws for underage drinking. Oh, yeah, yeah, very well versed. I have a, you have an um, alcohol license in Independence. Um, I sell very little, very little um, beer in Independence. I'm hoping to sell a little bit more here when I say that might, might be 5% of you know, gross sales and, and where I'm at now. And I'm not expecting anything crazy there, but you know, people like cold beer with the barbecue. So that's all it is to it. Going to be as good as the one in the pen? Hopefully better. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Motion to approve. Second. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. Thank y'all. Councilman Johnny Blunt. Aye. Councilman Jason Hood. Aye. Councilwoman Janice Carter Beard. Aye. Councilman Mike Williams. Aye. Motion Aye. approved. Aye. Number three, a resolution to approve discount tobacco located at 1109 East Thomas, Thomas Street, Suite A, Hammond, Louisiana, to obtain a permit to sell high-low package alcohol for 2018 and 2019 year. The owner is HZF Inc., Jenny Wilson. This is uh, a change of ownership of an existing uh, little pack -a sack grocery store out east of town. Um, they already had packaged liquor there um, and this is a new ownership. They've met all the qualifications that we've asked them to meet, and uh, we have a representative here tonight. I'm going to ask him to come up. If you have any questions. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Ali Fidel. State your address. It's 1109 East Thomas, or my personal address. That's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Uh, you know about the, the laws concerning underage drinking yes, and selling sir. the minors? Tobacco or alcohol, yes. You'll be checked. Yes. You are welcome at any time. So it's something I believe in. To protect the minors till they're at age. That is their business what they wanted to do. Second. Councilwoman Janice Carter Beard. Aye. Councilman Mike Williams. Aye. Councilman Jason Hood. Aye. Councilman Johnny Blunt. Aye. Motion approved. Good luck. Thank you. Number four, a resolution to reappoint Ken Ross to the Hammond Airport Authority Board for five-year term from October 1st, 2018 to September 30th, 2023. Mayor Pete Penapinto. Uh, Ken has been on the board. He's uh, general with the uh, 
and National Guard through the F-15s out of Bell Chase. Uh, it's also an attorney, so he has a lot of experience, and uh, I request uh, uh, the board to approve him his uh, reinstatement to uh, the airport authority board. So, second. Councilman Johnny Blunt. Aye. Councilman Jason Hood. Aye. Councilwoman Janice Carter Beard. Aye. Councilman Mike Williams. Aye. Motion approved. Number five, a resolution to approve budget change form 19-04, consolidating funds into a single project, number 420-11918, sidewalk and drainage improvement, CM Fagan Drive, Chuck Spangler. Good evening. This is, there's two budget change forms that are the next two items. 1904 is the one that's being addressed here. Uh, finally got our projects lined up and what, what we're uh, doing on 1904 is the Fagan Drive sidewalks had a companion uh, drainage appropriation and we're merging that into one project so we can do the drainage and the uh, sidewalks as one contract. So we'll extend the work that ceased at the south end of uh, J.W. Davis. It'll cross Fagan and be on the south side and run all the way to the mall. They're trying to get all the way at least to Magdalene if we have enough funds so we're bidding a portion of that as an alternate. But this will put the drainage and the sidewalks under one contract. So that's the nature of this. Not, it's not a new appropriation. Motion to approve. Second. Councilman Johnny Blunt. Aye. Councilman Jason Hood. Aye. Councilwoman Janice Carter Beard. Aye. Councilman Mike Williams. <coughs> Motion approved. Number six, a resolution to approve budget change form 19-05, consolidating J.W. Davis pedestrian bridge repairs and Hazel Street Canal Rehab into a single project, number 420-11910, canal improvements, FY 2019, Chuck Spangler. Yes, we had uh, two projects that were, um, if you recall, were, were appropriated last uh, in July 1st. One was the rehabilitation of J.W. Davis pedestrian bridge. The north abutment got washed out by the, one of the high water incidents we had uh, back last summer, and we started to proceed with the emergency appropriation, but it was very expensive to do it that way, so we decided to get a regular standard appropriation and go through the process. In the meantime, there was also an appropriation to rehabilitate the Hazel Street Canal by paving one side of it and taking all the vegetation out for th two blocks from Morris to uh, Coleman. So the, we're putting these into one contract because it's a similar type of work. It's working within canals, doing bank stabilization. And that's why this project has been called Canal Improvements 2019 because it's going to handle the J.W. Davis pedestrian bridge and the Hazel Street as one job. So that's the nature. It's not a new appropriation. It's a com combining of two appropriations into one project. So moved. Councilman Johnny Blunt. Aye. Councilwoman Janice Carter Beard. Aye. Councilman Jason Hood. Aye. Councilman Mike Williams. Aye. Motion approved. Number seven, a resolution authorizing the mayor to enter into a contract with rubber designs to install playground surfacing <coughs> in Kate Square Park, Charles Brochure. Good evening. Uh, as the mayor mentioned in his report, uh, we've actually started, our streets department, Robert Morgan's crew has actually started working in the park. If you guys have driven past, you've probably seen a lot of activity in there. Um, they're getting close to being finished, the early site prep. Um, the swing sites will probably be concrete in the ground tomorrow, and they'll do some uh, ground compaction, and then we'll get the company in to, uh, to surface it. We uh, solicited quotes, received three. The low quote was in the amount of $29,999.99 from Rubber Designs. So we're looking for your approval tonight so we can proceed forward with the project. Quick question, where, where was the money coming from again, Charles, remind me? It's a combination of a grant from Keep America Beautiful and Lowe's yeah. and a grant match fund, 15,000 grant match 15, fund. 15,000. Yeah, $20,000 grant, 15,000 from the grant match fund. Total project budget around 35. Thank you. Thank you for your help with it, too. You're very welcome, sir. Do we have a second? Yes. Yes, we do. Councilman Johnny Blunt. Aye. Councilman Jason Hood. Aye. Councilwoman Janice Carter Beard. Aye. Councilman Mike Williams. Aye. Motion approved. Number eight, a resolution one, accepting a $60,375 Lake Pontchartrain Basin Restoration Program grant to install emergency generators at lift stations 9, 22, 25, and 36 
two, approving a cash match of $20,125, and three, authorizing the mayor or his designee to complete and sign grant documents. Charles Brochure. This is a grant application we initially brought to the council back in May. Uh, we received the contract documents a couple of weeks ago, actually right after the last council meeting. Um, the match requirement, $20,125, $20, will come from the Water and Sewer Department. Uh, it is 25% of the project total. Uh, the other 75% is represented by the $60,375 grant. So we're asking you for your approval so we can get that contract signed and get the project going. So moved. Second. Councilman Jason Hood. Aye. Councilman Johnny Blunt. Aye. Councilwoman Janice Carter Beard. Aye. Councilman Mike Williams. Aye. Motion approved. Thank you. Final adoption of an ordinance number one. Final adoption of an ordinance to rename the following streets that are maintained and requested by Southeastern Louisiana University. So moved. Second. Councilman Johnny Blunt. Aye. Councilman Jason Hood. Aye. Councilwoman Janice Carter Beard. Aye. Councilman Mike Williams. Uh, and then that one was taken off, right? I, I'd uh, recommend that you uh, have a motion to remove this one from the agenda as well. Okay. So move. Second. Councilman Janice Carter Beard. Aye. Councilman Johnny Blunt. Aye. Councilman Jason Hood. Aye. Councilman Mike Williams. Aye. Motion approved to remove. Mm -hmm. Motion to remove. Aye. 